We keep going and going, but all we get is more sand and more blue sky. You're doing better than me if you can look at the sky, Raven. The only thing I see is sand. How come an old fart like you has so much energy anyway? Talking's only gonna wear you out. If one of us goes down, it'd be about all we could manage to get them back to safety. And I, for one, am in no mood to be giving out piggyback rides. If I collapse, Raven, you can carry me. Sorry, but this back's reserved for ladies only. I'll die before I collapse. I won't let myself be a burden either. The same goes for me, of course. Hey, there's no reason to go stomping on an old man's feelings, is there? <laughs> oh, man. Yo, a triple encounter link? I saw my normal mode. We're staying on that. Beautiful triple. Do we have to take them all out? Hi, guys. I'm going to error the ver see you. Also do that. Give me the fatal strike. It's fine though. Also, serpent won't work. And apparently they're resistant to light. All remember that. Alright, watch this. Get them with the wind blade. Oh, beautiful. It all works out. Why is Raven so slow? It has to do with the bow, doesn't it? I bet it does. Also, Judith, I don't know what's going on, but get it together, girl. There we go. This bow is so slow. Oh my goodness. Place the dog. So what do you have? You have... Oh, Jiraiya is apparently a, uh... A weapon that you resist. Oh, they resist fire, earth, wind, and light. That's a lot of stuff. I actually like this repeat thing a lot more. The magic lens. Because it uses magic lens on every single thing on the field. I like that a lot. I'm a dog now. Oh my goodness, Judith. What is wrong? Get light speared. What is happening right now? These fire things are just annoying. I should probably be using Rita. So Estelle, what is that you're using? It's a wizard horn? I can like not do damage to save my life. These enemies like that yeah, Judith could do damage. Get fatal strike. Judith, they're already dead. Wait, let Raven. Oh, I want Raven to get up first. That was a triple encounter link, actually. That's why it was so difficult. All right, I'm playing as Judith because I hate that bow. It makes Raven so slow. All right, the main gimmick of this desert, by the way. Is you want to hit the cacti with the sorcerer's ring to get water. So there are a few chests here that I want to find. As I said, we're only going to go for like another like at this point 10 minutes. I think. Because that rounds up nicely for YouTube videos. Stop. So I am getting hungry. So we are only going to go for like 10 more minutes. I need to get healing. Estelle, please heal me. There we go. Be gone, you bird. Who do you think you are? I got Moonlight Talon, don't I? I should add that. Yeah, do that. You guys ready for something fun? Sorry for being so Wait, that wasn't that fun. I have something fun to show. 
Let's fill up our water here. But this is... Ow! Ouch! Why would you touch that, Carol? You're an idiot. What an idiot. Use your head a little. Looks like this situation calls for a little extra help. That could work. Canteen filling time. Me next! We need to make sure to keep hydrated. Right. We wouldn't want to get sunstroke. If everyone's finished, let's go. Yeah, you lose HP gradually. Okay, so you want to just get the cacti. Simple stuff, simple stuff. I still have a holy bottle active. That's why the encounters are weird. So it's good to have another arc besides Crescent Moon that links so well with aerial combat. Well, that gives me Moonlight Talent. I mean, the blue Fatal Strike. I love how fast Moonlight Talent comes out. It's so good. Still, it's very unfortunate that you don't feel well, but nothing I can do. Right, good job, good job. Give me the meat sauce. There are some chests in these corners I do want to look out for. Because there's a specific chest that is a really good item. Ooh, an encounter link. We might not actually make progress in the desert because we're almost at... I don't think they're going to give me a save point soon enough, so... Might just spend like this eight minutes just <laughs> battling. Which I'm all down for. Yes, thank you, Estelle. Hold up. So that is what I wanted to show you. Really fun to do that. Possibly my favorite thing about Moonlight Talon. Just hearing Judith talk over herself is good. Yeah, very painful. They earned it, though. Give me my chest, game. Oh, that's right. It turns nighttime. I forgot. Ooh, and the enemies even change. I do like that. There's my first chest. A starfish. Get the starfish. <laughs> Here we go. I've repeated used the magic lens so we can get on all the enemies. Oh my goodness! Stop this. Stop this. Need this fatal strike. Give me this fatal strike. There we go. We're dead. Alright, that was good. Please die. Starfish. Starfish appear in like every Tales of game. I hate it. Luna Fang apparently sucks. Ooh, look at that XP. Love it. 1100. Love to see it. Give me this chest. Flamberge. Yes, I got it before stream ended today. Perfect. So, we are yet introduced to a really good combat mechanic. So, you will see throughout the game that you get skills that change in art and can be learned if used repeatedly. So, this game has what's called, um, I'm going to put Yuri in to show you guys. But, this game has what's called, um, Altered Arts, which I love. We're going to do a battle with Yuri. Just going to show this off. So as you can see, Azure Edge turned to Azure Storm. And this game actually has um, altered arts where if you use the art repeatedly, you can learn the art. So it's a really good combat mechanic. It's introduced a little late in the game, but not late in the game, but definitely a lot later than you would think. So basically spamming the art is going to get you the altered art. Oh, she got Tri-Slash, which is a new art for Definitive. So, like, 
Something I love about Vesperia is mixing and matching the skills to kind of get different arts. It's really good. So I think Chain gives you Azure Storm, and once you you can learn the art for yourself once you use it. Ooh, nice. As you can see, like you can learn Azure Storm as its own art once you use it a certain amount of times, and it's a really neat combat mechanic. I love it a lot. I think on this note, we could wrap up stream. This is a good place to wrap up. Because I am, I am actually kind of hungry. Yes, very beautiful indeed. I am hungry. One more encounter link. Cannot hurt. Yo, come here. Do this encounter link to get XP. I was wondering, are we going to get the first altered art weapon before stream ends today? I thought they sold it at Mantake, but then I remembered the Sands of Kogor is the first place you find it. And in that case, just spam it. See if you can learn Azure Storm like sooner rather than later. Some of the arts get really hard to learn. And every character has like, I think, five altered arts, give or take. I think Definitive adds some, so you know. Big fan, big fan. Also, the Flamberge looking as cool as ever, as it always does in Tales of. I love the Flamberge. Classic sword. I love the design of it. Also, Vorpal sword is pretty sick, too. So, having two Azure edges is really nice. And later, you can get skills that link a base art to an, arc to an altered art to an arcane art, or vice versa. So, it's very good to have, a uh, very neat to have, um, do this last battle and we'll wrap up. But, um, it's really neat to have Altered Arts be a thing. It's a really good game mechanic. Really good mechanic to have. Yes, Fatal Strike. Trying to learn Azure Storm. I'm probably not going to learn it by the end of today, but I could dream. How many times have I used it? Oh, whoops. Uh, skill details. Oh, 48. Okay, so I think it's, um... You're using too many arts. Dude, be quiet, please. <laughs> if I remember right, magic spells... Some altered arts are spells. I think spells, you have to use 50 times to learn them. And I think for arts, regular arts, you have to use 100. So, we have, like, 50 more uses of Azure Storm. I think we're gonna leave and wrap up stream. Because I realize the Sands of Kogor are pretty big. I'd rather not go through them. On an empty stomach. Plus, we, we've been live for like over five hours. This was a good stream. Really good stream. Do this Azure, Azure Storm spam. See if we can get Azure Storm. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. It never gets old. Azure Storm is far too powerful. It's like a twin Azure Edge, which it basically is. I love it. Alright, not bad, not bad. Trying to go back so I can wrap up. Oh, I keep doing that. 70. We just have 30 more uses and then we have it as ours. Uh, we're gonna watch the meaning of monsters next time. It's about time to wrap up. Just gonna head to man take rest up and that'll be it. Yeah, dude, I'm hungry. I have I have burgers today. I gotta make myself a burger. Really looking forward to it. Checking these off my side quest checklist because I know I'm gonna... I know I'm gonna have to do it. Alright, well... Yeah, I think that's gonna wrap up today. Really good stream today. So, those of you watching on YouTube and Twitch, hope you all enjoyed. Really good Vesperia stream today. I had a ton of fun. It was a good one. We made a lot of side quest progress and we got to some of the better ones, actually. Some of the side quests we did were like, they're getting better. Plus, we, we made a good amount of story progress, I think, considering that there were a lot of side quests to do. But 
This is kind of the point where Vesperia's side quests are going to start picking up. So, you know. And Altered Arts. We got Altered Arts at the end of today, which is really nice. I'm looking forward to learning all of those. So, yeah. Next time, we're going to head through the Sands of Kugor and meet with Pharaoh and go on with the game and all that. But yeah, uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. Again, I'm not promising anything, but if I wake up early enough, I can fit in a Persona 5 Striker stream tomorrow around 10 or 11 EST. So be aware, follow me on Twitter if you do. If you don't follow me on Twitter, I would recommend following me on Twitter to see if I'm going to stream that day, tomorrow basically. Um, if I don't do Strikers tomorrow, I'll do Strikers on Thursday. If I do Strikers tomorrow, I'll do Vesperia on Thursday. And Friday will be whichever one I don't do. So, but if if it's too late tomorrow, I might do Crash 4 tomorrow. So, I can either do Crash 4 tomorrow or Strikers tomorrow. Or I don't do anything. But if not, Vesperia should be on Thursday or Friday, depending. But yeah, uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.